up with that so much. That's uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's legit, that's fine. You know. I was playing some of the Talos Principle. Oh, I showed you a little bit you of that after I show me a little bit of that. Like the very beginning of it, because I had not even started yeah. it. Yeah. That's been fun. I played through the first... Uh, it's sort of divided, as far as I can tell, into three big sections of puzzles. And okay. I, I did all of the first sections. That was nice. That's awesome. It's super interesting. Um, to describe it is to spoil it, but... Hmm. You know, suffice it to say, it is a puzzle game a lot like Portal in that you're presented with very clear-cut puzzles that you're meant to solve, okay. and then you also go behind the scenes of the whole charade. Oh, cool. So, But in a different way from Portal 2. So, uh, and by 2, I mean not the sequel, but T-O-O oh. as well. Wandering uh, Soldiers, by the way. Yeah, we've been encountering Wandering Soldiers out here in the Empire-controlled areas. So... But, uh, did you ever, did, I, did you ever play the Stanley Parable? I still haven't. Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I own it. I feel like you I would like it. it. Yeah, I mean, I played the demo, and I got a really good idea of it, and I think that's part of why I haven't been, like, itching to play it. Um, but, yeah, Talos Principles been on jam. I, I played, I, I kind of did that first section in one big session, playing, uh, one day. Once. And then, uh, Tracy got her wisdom teeth out, and while that's been happening, I, uh, have been keeping her company on the couch. I don't know. We don't know what garlic does. Just I mean, take garlic. You could drop an oh. antidote or something. We have a shitload of antidotes. There we go. <laughs> we, we got there. Just just in case, I guess, we encounter a vampire. But while uh, she's been recovering from that, in the center of this circle is where we're trying to go. Um, I've been playing more Bloodborne. Because that's... The thing I do. That's your, that's your thing. I've now gotten two of the three endings. Oh wow! Okay. Um, thinking maybe I'll platinum it. Ooh. We'll see what happens. All right. I platinum. I pl platinumed. You platinumed it. I platinumed Dark Souls two and Dark Souls. So I could. Hot damn. I could. I didn't. I wasn't able to do it with Demon Souls because World Tendency is a bitch. But Demon Souls. Yeah. Yeah. World Tendency is so fucking complicated. Um. Yeah, Bloodborne feels like it's possibly within reach. I do have to get a third ending, and then also do Chalice Dungeons until my eyes bleed, but we'll see what happens. I think it's fun, though. Gosh. The game's real yeah. fun. I did, in, in my second playthrough, uh, use a guide to make sure that I was seeing everything, and I saw a bunch of new bosses and stuff. Oh, and wow. New area, stuff I've never seen before. Anyway. Good. There's a lot hidden, it sounds like. Yeah. This is beautiful, by the way. Yeah, this is this looks like the heart of the Empire. Like a... It does, but I don't think it is. Is it not? Is this I not... guess we don't really know. Is that where they're from? Is Cash one? Here we are, going in. Oh, no, I guess... This is Paramikia its own. is where they're from. Right. Ooh. This has some unique music. It does. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! I didn't expect there to be any monsters. I didn't expect there be monsters here. Oh, maybe it's abandoned out here, at least. Alright, I'm no longer looking ahead, so... Okay, yeah, this is all new. Oh, err. I lost my, my header phones. I certainly hope there's an in here. <laughs> I mean, if there's monsters in the town, there's probably not any. Unless this is just outside access. the gate. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, that's what kind of what I was envisioning, but... Yeah, yeah, know. that's right, because the gate's sealed off and whatever. That's why we need the Yeah, we spell. need to ring that bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. That's right. Yes. Man, we really need to sell some things. Oh, wow. Really? Uh, treasures. This is just a treasure zone. I mean, a monster zone. The G bell. All right. All right. No loot, go. but what are you gonna do? Ooh. This music's really interesting. Yeah, it is. It's oh, very hello, Gordon. Oh. I was trying to find the Eggle torch, but the monsters were too strong. It's somewhere in the castle. Please help me find it. Alright. Okay. Sunflame. I like that he knows nothing about the goddess bell. He knows nothing about nothing. Oh! Goodbye! Wait, is he in our party? <gasps> yes! Oh! Oh, look at that! Yeah! He has low HP total and a low MP total. I wonder what he it's does. pretty gorgeous. 
He is. He's very anime hunk. Yeah. Um, look, look, look at his equipment. Bronze Spear armor. And shield and bronze so armor. He's not super strong, but we'll do what we can with you. You want to look at his stats real quick? I do. Just in case he has some weird, interesting powers. Wow. Look how well balanced he is. Yeah, his stats are quite high. But he has no weapon skills at all. Remember, isn't Gordon, Gordon's the coward, though, remember? Um, so that's, yeah, that's that's flavorly correct. Yeah. Thematic. Oh, oh goodness. this place is a little bit ruined, maybe? Did Cash, Did the Empire come through here? This is... I feel like this is, like, a, a part of the Empire. Did I say that? I feel like they didn't get think so. attacked. I oh, no. <laughs> you sure <Yeah>. didn't. <laughs> uh, we may be right back. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. We're gonna step outside. Oh, see. look at his avatar. Oh, yeah, look at him. His, wait, his really hair cool. is very white and bad. It is. It's very blue on the menu. Anyway, yep. Yeah, we're gonna jump outside and save him. We'll be right back. Oh, spear animation. We're back. We are back. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> cool. We saved. We healed. Classic, uh, yep, fighting game. This is a this is a fighting this game. This is a classic of a classic fighting, fighting game, game genre. Yeah, uh, right up there with Street Fighter. Street Fighter Two Turbo Edition. <laughs> this one introduced a very it, it slowed the fighting mechanics down quite a bit. Yeah, and a lot it took more away numbers oriented. Most people are familiar with fighting games requiring, uh, you know, precision button yeah. pressing, memorization of combos. This game turns it into a menu based system. Yeah, not nearly as much frame perfect. It's like yeah. This. A lot less. Uh, the one other major difference between this and other fighting games is you, you know, it never really took off on the arcade scene. Yeah, you don't really see this at Evo. It's because you can't. Uh, they actually removed the feature in Final Fantasy II where you could battle other players. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that seems like a mistake. If you're going to try to create a competitive fighter, you should right. probably. Uh, it's all computers. Let people fight each other. That would be something, actually. Just like hitting buttons on your phone. Oh, it's on night mode. Good, I did it. That, that's okay, it does it automatically. Oh, okay. It is a little clock. <laughs> I see. Um, I feel like I was just thinking about fighting games. Oh, I was thinking about playing more Smash Brothers by myself, like a weirdo. I never, I told, yeah, I'm never a big Smash fan. I like Smash. I don't know. I like Smash. I've always been, I'm not good at Smashing. Never really saw... I know other people love to smash. I'm not that good at smash. Like, I definitely get wrecked as soon as anyone who actually knows what they're doing plays. I'm just good against people who like mash buttons. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> but like, uh, I was at my buddy's uh, Ken and Bart. We were yeah. playing a little smash one night before a draft or whatever, and I just got like steamrolled because like they actually knew how to like roll and use their shield <laughs> you know stuff like that like I know my attacks it's and too complicated it. for me you know. it was that's pretty embarrassing and then we played against his amiibo fighter and it was like absurd oh, neither of us could beat the amiibo fighter like it was so good <laughs> <laughs> that game has a high skill ceiling it's surprising but yeah seal skilling seal skilling yeah, I was thinking about picking that up. I realized I like I got or bought mm -hmm. a couple of Wii U games like within about a month of each other. Yeah. And played them for like a week or two, and then like didn't play them. Like Smash Brothers and Hyrule Warriors. Should have known, of course. Fool me once. Oh, good golly, miss. Oh, ogre wait. and a land turtle just like oh, out here. Lorsh. Okay, let's cast some spells. Yeah. Okay, I know you probably have not watched any. Uh, Steven Universe. No. However, these ogres really look like Amethyst in her uh, wrestling form. Amethyst? Amethyst is one of the crystal gems. And it has a wrestling form? Yeah. A crystal gem has a wrestling form? She's a person. Oh, okay. They're called the crystal gems. Okay. Because they're aliens. Right. And, uh, anyway, yeah, she has a wrestling persona. Because she can shape shift. It's like her deal. Also, in case you uh, forgot the land turtle's weak to... Uh, ice, no, fire. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. Gosh. It's here to help. I'm not a fan of what's happening right now. Oh, alright, alright, alright. Luckily, the game is not predicated on your enjoyment. Wait, oh, yeah, it's because Gor Gordon over here. <laughs> Gordon. He's pretty weak. What? 
What's the name of the big face from Power Rangers? Zoltan, right? Zoltan. Is that it? Zoldar? I feel like it Goldar. was... Goldar. It, it was a Zordar. Maybe Zoltan was embraced the Zoltan or whatever you said in the car movie. Right? Who is the car? Where's the... <laughs> what are you fucking saying? <laughs> Where's my car? Oh, Gordon died! Damn it! <laughs> what happened? Gordon got no HP. Oh, Gordon's a big weak man. Uh, who... What is that movie? I don't know. Uh, wait, it's like, dude, dude, where is my car? Dude, where is my car? Dude. <laughs> is that the one? Embrace the Zoltan or something? I literally don't remember. Maverick? Embrace. Oh, he brought his toy in here. That's not the phrase. It's like, there's something to Zoltan. <laughs> Zol okay, Zoltan... If I search Dude Wear Zoltan, it auto I knew it. I've never even seen oh, that. Oh, this dude's wrapped in bubble wrap. What? Yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Here. Let's think. What? I, I don't I've never seen the film. Maverick, you're playing it Wait, a Wait, you've never seen Dude Wears My Car? Mm-mm. -mm. Oh. That's A Cooch, right? <laughs> it's a terrible name for him. I'm sorry. What? Aston Kutcher, right? Oh. <laughs> It is Ashton Kutcher, kind of before he was famous at all. <laughs> or maybe, like, yeah. in his rise, maybe. I'm not sure. I gotta deal with this real quick. Alright. Yeah, I, oh, we did it anyway. My victory is to move Maverick. Maverick, don't play on the cables. <laughs> okay, Maverick, you're gonna play on the cables. Hey, look at this. We got a spell tome. Oh my goodness. Fight. Yes, we did. That's quite something. Um, uh, let's replace an antidote. How about that? Okay. Cool. That was worth it, I think. Yeah, that was a tough fight. Never go into monster closets, my children. You know what that doesn't answer. Parents teach your children well what? Uh, maybe that big face from Power Rangers. Zoldar or Zoltan. Maybe it's Zoltan. I don't think it is. Gold Goldar. Oh, damn it. I forgot to fucking Oops. Gordon. I searched Power Rangers fave. <laughs> Power Rangers space. Oh, I wish I knew his name. Oh. Zordon. I was close. Uh, Goldar is the big gold sphinx Which monster. just begs the question, why is Gordon pronounced Gordon and Zordon pronounced Zordon? Shouldn't it just be Zordon? Wait. Zordon? Gordon and Zordon? What am I doing? I'm losing my, my brain mind. Hey, do you know uh, Wake Up Gordon? Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing oh, it right okay. now. All right. I cast it last I'm time just, and I just assumed. Just check. I was worried about Maverick uh, destroying our you know, vulnerable cabling situation. Yeah. Luckily, he is enticed by hair ties. <laughs> I just think he saw his paws swipe under the door. <laughs> He's like, hey, you didn't trick me. You probably got already did for a little the door. If you hear a pounding sound, it's a yeti. <laughs> and definitely not a cat. No, cat yeti. Cachetti. Oh, come on, Gordon, get some HP up now, because your HP so low. You know... Oh. He got something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I think it was agility. Reason. What a hot dog. Well, agility's good. Yes. Agility improves their evasion. I don't know. Gordon. I think. <laughs> don't quote me on that one. Uh, Ryan. Um, Ryan. Um. Are we Ryan. doing some Zen practice right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not Zen, though. No. What is. What is. Um. Oh, is that. What is uh, it? Some yoga? Other Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Going up some stairs? Ah, uh, working on it. Oh, there's a new goblin for us. Des Angel? What is a Des Angel? Oh, I don't like that. Whatever it is. Hmm. They look like a weird colorless version Bo of the goblins. Bo what is Bo what? I don't know. Kill oh, with fire? Yeah, yeah, kill them. Oh, Gordon's in the back right now. That's fine. He is, oh. Wait, can Spears attack the front row? Indeed, I can. Oh, I probably messed that up. Oh. Oh, it's fine. Hang on. You just messed that up. Hang on. Go one time, Gordon. Hey, Gordon, want to take a turn? Gordon? Gordon! Oh, Gordon. Nah, ineffective. I think in D&D you could use, uh, you know, weapons with reach from a row behind, though. Yeah. In some versions. There's probably a big monster boss here. I don't want to... I want to lose my my stuff, you know? You know. I know. You know. I know. You know. I know. Oh, it's the Yeti. <laughs> Have you hugged your Yeti today? Yes. Yeah, I, I came home from work <laughs> and, uh... 
There's some paw action under the door. Yeah. I came home from work and the boys were all sleeping. Then I went to take my shower while today's video was going up. And like I went into the bedroom and they both were just like deciding, okay, now's the time. We're going to jump up on the bed and we're going to scream as loud as humanly possible. Yeah, as long as felinely possible. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, they, they required attention in that moment. I think Maverick just plopped down against the door. Yeah, he, he, he reconciled himself to un... It's so sweet. He's so sweet. Cad in that, you know, like in a motorcycle man kind of way, like a uh, leader of the pack kind of way. Mm-hmm. He's rough and tumble. A pair of denim trousers and motorcycle boots. It's black denim trousers. That's it. Black denim trousers and motorcycle boots. I don't think song. anyone can be really called a, like, rough rider who calls them denim. I think it was not a common thing in the 50s, 60s. So we gotta move that Gordon guy out. Why didn't I do that? Oh, look, he's got more health now. Hey, that's hot, good. Hot dirt. He gained, what is that, 22 health? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's much better than previously. Wow, these guys are strong also. I'm running out of all the MP. Things are just a mess for us, folks. Just a mess. Just a darned old mess. If you really get nervous, you can always use Fearing to exit. Yeah. Although, of course, we tried that before and he couldn't actually cast it for some reason. When we were in the ice cave, I think. Oh, because maybe that's why you need warp. Now we're answering the tough maybe questions. Maybe exit takes you from level 1 out to the world and warp gets you up the levels. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what is this world? <laughs> Alright, uh, someone confirm or deny if that's how warp and exit work. Um, or, like, explain it to us. Also, because I'm not looking at it. Someone right confirm. Now. Peanuts? Good for you, bad for you? Good for you, I'm pretty sure. I have a. I work with a nutritionist, and she eats peanut butter every day. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. She also runs marathons, so that might have something to do with her healthfulness. Probably not her peanut butter. I was about I'm to call it an addiction. False I like correlation. That's, that's mean. I did not want to go that way. <laughs> Misrepresenting. She also ran a marathon like a week before her due date for her current child. Oh, wow. Uh, her like, due date is actually today, so hopefully she's oh, doing good. Good yeah. good pregnancy to you. She was at the store today, oh. so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Clearly not giving birth, but. Uh, you know. Giving birth to coffee. No, she wasn't working. Oh, she wasn't. She was just pregnant with coffee. You know. Man, I don't like I don't like this. I keep forgetting to move Gordon. Things are just not going well for us. Uh, hashtag forgetting Gordon. My whole life is hashtag forgetting Gordon. <laughs> oh man, poor oh, Gordon. Gordon. That's a deep, deep, deep. Do you want to know, Ryan? Do you want to know now? Do you want to know now, Ryan? Do you? Do you want to know? Yeah. I okay, have two things to tell you right now. Okay. First. Just in general. Let's mm. just go just in general. Mm -hmm. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Okay. That's good to know, starting out. Yeah. I like to put that out on the table, you know, after we're about 50 episodes in. <laughs> so, so now that you know that, I uh -huh. hope we can still, uh, you know, continue this relationship. Yeah. But uh, secondly, you know, so I'm telling you, I did a, we, the last few albums of the week have been uh, punk records. Let's punk. Oh, Let's we're punk. just... Bringing it right back around. Yeah, well, why? Well, why not, Ryan? <laughs> um, I, you know, I inadvertently segued into uh, into more dadly territory. With, um, dadly territory. Yeah, listen to a lot of like, um, and not, not all the big names, but like uh, some like, you know, early seventies like hard rock stuff, and like Prague. Okay. Give me some examples. Give me some names. Okay. Give me an album. Corey. Yeah? What's your album of the week? Oh, that's tough. But the one I was going to pick first was going to be... Uh... Are you going to move Gordon? Oh, thank <laughs> you for remembering that. Good thank boy, you. Gordon. Yeah, thank you. Good golly. Right. Uh, Wishbone Ash. Is that a band? Yes. Oh, golly. Miss... Molly. I <laughs> Anyway, mm. the album Argus by Wishbone Ash. What does that make me think of? That makes me think of Argus Row. What is that? What is Argus Row? Is that a mess bag? That, that sounds like a... Yeah, I think it's a galaxy or a cluster or something. Uh, a mess bag. Googling. Googling ferociously. 
But yeah, I, mean, I got I got some deets for you on all this biz. Oh. I got deets on the biz. So it came out in 1972. They're kind of like the, that's like one of their progier albums, but it's kind of also a little folky a little bit. Okay. Okay. But it, they're notable for being one of the first bands to have dual lead guitars. Ooh. So uh, they were kind of like an inspiration for like bands like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, and Ben Lizzie and stuff like that that had really prominent uh, dual leads. How? Downing and Tipton and Priest and stuff. What is wrong with my brain that I remembered Argus Row, which is in fact a system? Oh, once you said it, I thought the same thing, so. Oh, fuck it. Not you. Weird more. I'm running out of MP. Um, yeah, we need that. We need that drain spell. It's a black magic. Yeah, we need to figure out where that is. I hope we haven't already seen it, and it's just like embarrassing. I don't think so. Here. I was looking at a. Just you know, die. <laughs> I got to keep my phone straight. I have game stuff on your phone. Yeah, I know. And I have uh, random googling on my phone. So any prog fans? Any hard rock fans? Okay. That's one. That's one. That's what one. That's soft rock. It's it's kind of what? What about soft rock? What about what it? Happened, what happened to people who listening to soft rock? We're like getting into AOR territory right what now. What was what was the? Do you remember the Light Rock Station in Chicago? The Light FM. The, the Light FM. Yeah, I totally remember that. <laughs> Played hot garbage twenty four seven. Like that station was the best. It was the it was the best. Was the I best. I listened to many many hours of the Light FM. Really? Cause, oh, yeah, because I. Did you just take soft rock. No, we, my parents and oh, like, I was like I didn't all, know all like, adults ever oh, were just so lame. Point. I was a kid and listening to Light Rock all the time. <laughs> oh man, that's terrible. So on the on the you turn the sound up on this thing, you jerk. It knew, it knew, it knew. Uh, ooh, we got a we got a problem. What's up? We got a blind guy, but luckily we got <laughs> plenty of eye we have drops. Everything we could ever need. AKA to guy drops. <laughs> Any potions? I feel pick up. I feel like pick up. I uh, feel like. Feline pick I up. feel I pick up a potion. Gosh darn! Oh, and Gordon's just getting health up the up the dude. Well, I mean, it makes sense that he's getting whale. It's great. So it's great. It's great. It's good. It's good. It's good and great. That's if you hear that little. Oh, there's the yeti. The world's tiniest meow from the world's largest cat. He was neutered early. <laughs> but it's weird because he still ended up huge. Whereas Taco got neutered very late, ended up huge, but has. A pretty manly yowl took it with it. Yeah, forgive that pitiful meow. Don't be fooled. I yeah, know. Oh, Ryan! What's up? Where oh, rats? What the f- They have huge ears! <laughs> and weird striped tails. I don't, and, and don't all feel the teeth comfortable ever. with what's happening. Oh, those are the best. Those are the I best guys. Still? They look like Dr. Seuss oh, like cool. villains. Like, they do. If Dr. Seuss took a dark turn. They, they, the enemies are getting wild. Like, after Borgen, like, I just don't, I don't know what to expect anymore. Yeah. They look like all. Um, they look like weird cartoons. What is happening? What the heck? Poisoned. Ay ay ay. So I guess there's eventually a town that just has like all the all, spells. All the magic. Cool. Um, um, going up floor, down floor. Shit. Not sure if uh, we missed anything there, but we lost the recording of the video for just mm. a moment. Okay, um, but we're back. Good job, us. I think when Corey used the menu at some point recently, he turned off the recording on accident. Hopefully it was just last time when I switched the spear. Yeah. We'll check that in a second. Sorry if I just fucked everything. <laughs> How many pushes can we... Where are you going? I don't know, Ryan. <laughs> okay. I'm losing it here. Just checking. Oh! Oh, no. Wraiths. I don't think we've seen Wraiths before. This looks pretty real. They're very purple. Yeah. They're, they're very purple. <laughs> they look a lot of palette super swaps in purple. This game. I felt like there were going to be more upgrades in terms of. I mean, uh, we did get Wear Rats. Alright, that's true. Wear Rats, I would. No. I'll, I will I okay. take Wear Rats. How much damage does this Seven. Hoop. Well, it's because Guy is terrible at magic. And I just defused it over six monsters, so that wasn't worth nothing. Oh, okay, they're not sweet. Should be pretty weak oh. yeah, to the fire. Four. I figured it was worth taking four for a nice, down to nice blazing. 12 MP, though. I know. Get a couple casts in. I don't have to coast on Furion's fire if we need it. Yeah. I do not want to do this again. Yeah. 
Hopefully not. Especially after I mess with the buttons. I I think it was a very short period of time. Good. Ooh, gold gold shield. shield. Oh, monsters. Oh, 